Okay, so here's my little introduction to me since I haven't done it yet. Um, my name is Sean Alvin. I am a uh, I'm a senior at West Virginia University, um, and my major is International Studies. Yeah, my major is International Studies, and I am I have two minors. One of them is Japanese, the other is Linguistics. All right, so this is what I have packed so far. I just thought I'd show you guys what I have packed so you guys can kind of get a gist. Um, cologne, Q-tips, shaving stuff, deodorant. Um, I got like my charging cables in here, jump rope and bands. Let's see if I'll actually use them. But uh, just some socks here, a few jackets. It's not gonna be too cold where I'm at. It's kind of like the same latitude as Carolina, so it's gonna be pretty warm. Um, just some more jackets and hoodies. Uh, a lot of shorts, swimming trunks, uh, you know, and then some sweatpants down here. Uh, you know, bathroom products, uh, band-aids, floss. This is stuff my mom asked me to buy her, um, like floss. And she made me go back to the store to return the original floss I bought her because it wasn't right. So, um, so these are just some t-shirts I packed. And then I'll show you what else. And then in here, you guys already seen that. In here, um, let me just, uh, I just got this picture. So I'm thinking about giving it to my mom. Uh, just one winter coat uh, when I go back to my mom's house because she's living like kind of West Virginia uh, latitude. So it's going to get a little bit cold. Um, shoes, shoes, shoe, boots, shoes. Uh, this purse I accidentally bought. Um, so yeah, I'll just give it to my mom underwear freeze pack like you know some contraband some uh, wool socks knit cap uh, some henna dye for my mom she asked me to buy now she got some shirts extra shirts here so that's what's in the suitcase and then in here I have another bag I'm um, just gonna be kind of uh, stuff I'm gonna be using uh, you know just close I'm gonna pack like my airport outfit in here um, got some jeans and a few more jackets uh, and I got some snacks in here um, that I gotta give to my mom uh, hat some more extra pairs of underwear and then in my travel bag this is gonna be what I'm gonna have the whole trip I got some like the visa documents you know of course some socks underwear shorts uh, shirt cuz I'm gonna once I get to Japan I'm gonna have two or three days without these without this suitcase so, just in case, uh, pack some extra ones in case I, you know, pee pee on myself. And then, just some headphones for in the airport, uh, other charging stuff. Um, so, I got a little pack here, which has, like, my little, um, what's it called? Phone cables and stuff. Right, stuff I'll be using throughout the trip. So, yeah, that's mainly all I have packed. Um... And yeah, we will get it going on the 5th. Today is just the 3rd. Alright, so now we're at Pittsburgh Airport. It is about 6 a.m., uh, 6.28. And then my gate is right over there. Right over there, gate 8. So I am over here getting some breakfast. And uh, yeah, and then I will board and then I will go to San Francisco. And then from San Francisco, I will go to Japan. So yeah, um, yeah, the check in wasn't too bad. I was waiting in the wrong line for a little bit, but uh, you know, every traveler has their mistakes. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, nothing unusual. Pretty cool. I came two hours before my flight, so my flight was at 7.05, so I came around like 5, 10, 5.15-ish. Um, and yeah, it was a good amount of time. It was a, uh, yeah, it was just a good amount of time. I, I could have done, I should have came like three hours before, to be honest, if I wanted to be really sick here and enjoy my breakfast. But I don't even have time to enjoy it. I just got to put it on the plane.
so boom. As you can see, we're in Japan right now. It's crowded. And um, yeah. Now we're here. This is not the really exciting part. The exciting part is seeing the house. Um, but yeah, right now, just Narita Airport. It's real general, real basic. Um, but yeah, nothing much going on here. And I just got my luggage, and I'm just waiting on my mom to come pick me up. Because. She knows how to do all the train stuff, and I really don't like doing the train stuff. So I'll even show you how the train stuff works. It's just so confusing to me because it's hard for me to read it all. Um, but yeah. So. People are looking at me funny, but you know, who cares? So I am here at Kansai Gaida University, um, and in Japanese it is Kansai Gaikoku Go Daigaku. Um, it, it is a international language school. So uh, here I am just going to take some Japanese courses uh, and finish up my classes so I can graduate, and I'm going to be taking um, an extra elective. Um, so yeah, so. And before I came here for two weeks, I was spending time with my mother's family, or my mother's side of the family, uh, up in Iwate, uh, which is a uh, northern part of Japan. And now we are in the southern part, we are below Tokyo. I'm just here to finish up my courses to graduate, and he yeah, has a pretty smooth so far. Um, I will now give you the tour of my dorm, and then also, a uh, tour of the campus a little bit, but not too much, just a, just a dorm for now, because I don't know what's going on here either. <laughs> 